Okay, Steve Mazzone here from Ocean State Running, and I'm here with LaSalle Academy's Max DiMuccio and Tyler Chambers. Guys, welcome aboard. And this is our um, Celebrating Seniors feature, so we just want to recognize all the seniors out there. We know you, you guys kind of been shortchanged with this uh, coronavirus uh, putting an end to your outdoor season. So kind of our way of honoring you guys for the hard work that you've done um, throughout your high school careers. Um, guys, I want to begin by talking about uh, what this coronavirus did to your indoor season. Um, so LaSalle had a very good shot, I think, of placing at least top, making the podium in both the four by mile and the DMR, possibly top three, and who knows, even better than that. Um, so Max, I'm going to begin with you. Uh, talk about when this coronavirus hit. Couldn't have been at a worse time for you guys, but um, how did you deal with it? Yeah, it was definitely tough um, because I felt like in the indoor season I was um, gaining lots of momentum. I, I didn't have um, an ideal start. Uh, I had kind of a late start to the indoor season, um, and I was kind of just progressing each week um, and getting some consistent training in. And then um, you know, I, I thought we were ready to go, and uh, we were really excited to get out there in New York and um, show what we could do on the national level uh, with our relay teams. Um, and, yeah, but – uh, it, it ended up being out of our control, and um, there was nothing we could do about it. Uh, you know, you could hang your head and be mad about it, but um, at the end of the day, you just got to go back to training, hope for an outdoor season, and that obviously was also not happening. But um, at the time, we thought it was, and we were looking forward to that a lot, and, and it gave us, like, motivation to, to look forward to that and, and to, do, to do well, uh, New Balance Nationals outdoor with our really team, so. That was that was our mindset once indoors got canceled, basically. And uh, Tyler, how about you? You were going to be on both relay teams. Um, what were your thoughts when when you heard the news? I mean, I think it happened what three days before the nationals. It it, it seemed like it was going to end up being the decision anyway. So I don't think it came as a surprise. But um, talk about your reaction after that after you heard about that. Um. Yeah. Similar to Max, I think we were getting in good shape at just the right time. Um, I knew we, we all thought we were going to run fast at um, Nationals, so we were looking forward to that. Um, we were trying to hold on to hope. Like I remember a few days before, I was just like hoping that um, it wouldn't be canceled. So I remember every day I was just like waking up hoping I wouldn't see any news. But unfortunately, I feel like it was like Wednesday or Thursday before I woke up and I heard that. So that was tough. But um, like you said, I, it wasn't really a surprise. So we um, – we're just going with that. <laughs> so um, with it not being a surprise, um, yeah, we just, um, like Max said, all we could do was, why, why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> You're making me laugh. You started yeah. screaming. Uh, but like Max said, um, all we could really do was look forward to um, outdoor. So, um, yeah, uh, we were holding on to hope for outdoor. Uh, but like Max said, obviously that didn't work out. So um, that's unfortunate, but there's not much we can do about that. So I know all I'm doing is just continuing to train to try to hopefully have like some time trials or like speed. So yeah, it was definitely uh, hard to go with, but um, I think it's just something uh, you have to deal with. And um, it's about how you move on, not living in the past with that. So, so this new normal that we're dealing with, at least for the time being, um, you guys are out there still training, but it's basically by yourself, it seems, or for the most part, maybe with a few teammates, but you've got to be that six feet apart. Talk about um, that, the, this new type of way that you have to be and in, in, in staying motivated. How difficult is it, or is it that difficult? Because it seems track and field athletes, you guys are resilient people, and you're pretty much can, can get motivated on anything. How are you maintaining that? How are you staying motivated? I know the, the nationals, I guess the outdoor nationals is still on as of now, I guess. Is, is that kind of a goal, maybe uh, shooting for that? Um, why don't we yeah. start with you, Tyler? Um, yeah, I think it's still a goal. I know um, most of us are still training at least. I know um, it's hard, but we're trying to get up with at least like one or two other guys. So we're not running completely by ourselves, but um, yeah. So we're still training, training hard, not trying to overdo it right now. Obviously, because there's nothing really soon. 
or definitely still trying to stay in shape. And um, yeah, I think nationals is still a hope. I know it's um, far out there, but uh, you know, at least far away. But I know we're definitely still trying to stay in shape. Max, how about you? Yeah, um, yeah, I've I've actually only trained alone. Um, I, I live in Massachusetts, so there's kind of like issues. You're not supposed to cross borders, I guess. And um, but yeah, I like there's good and bad things to that. Like um, you know, I like I just go out there every day and and I get to focus and and, and run how my body feels. Um, I think that's really important. But um, but also you know, it it really really helps to have to have guys there and have a team um, supporting you. And but yeah, so. Yeah, definitely. You don't want to be doing nothing. Um, that's for sure, because there, there is still um, hope of an outdoor nationals. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely still um, still training pretty, pretty hard. Um, so, yeah. Are you guys looking at like the four by mile and the DMR and outdoor too or um, um, individual events as well? Yeah, we, um, we haven't discussed that. Um, it, it, we'd probably look towards the relays. Um, yeah, I haven't uh spoken with my coaches yet it's it's really still a ways out um but uh definitely those those real events is something we would target and um and hope to do well in um but yeah it, it depends like what the schedule looks like if any individual events um if we're qualified for any and if if it lines up well with being fresh to help the team in the relay because i think that's i hold that more important than in any individual event so yeah well, guys, let's talk about how this year began for you guys. So uh, for your senior year, it couldn't have started off any better. I mean, winning the state title, um, the New Englands, and then uh, the Nike Northeast and heading out to uh, the Nationals where you guys played six. I mean, uh, definitely a memorable uh, cross-country season. Talk about that. Talk about the feeling uh, throughout that season. No, I mean, just the way you guys <coughs> felt throughout the season and, and beating a good Bishop Hendrickson team at the state meet and – everything else but um tyler why don't we start with you so you finished eighth too right at the cross country meet yep eighth. um yeah talk about uh how you guys did throughout the fall did it just seem did you guys just think you know what this is this is our year and we're just gonna do it yeah um i know we've been we all started training skelly has us training hard through um summer leading into there so um i knew for fall we'd all be ready we were um, all excited. We all were, all of us are so motivated individually. So I think as a team, that only helps us more. So, um, yeah, we were just, we all push each other every day. Um, so leading up to um, States, we had a good race there. And I think once um, we just had a good race there, we just kept going with it. Max couldn't race with us at New England, but um, we were still wicked confident at New England. So um, we went to, into New England with the same mindset, even without Max. And um, same with uh, regionals. We just um, had the mindset that we are one of the best and we should be up in front. So, um, yeah, we just kept rolling with that. Uh, Skelly always told us um, you can only control how you race and how you train. So that's mostly what we focused on. We um, all tried to stay motivated, and, uh, yeah, it worked out well, obviously. So, so Max, you get – fifth in the states and that was your fourth straight year again at least uh seventh or better um which is a, a feat in itself but then not being able to run that new england's and then coming back in the, the nike meet uh what were your thoughts uh after the state meet and and what you went through yeah um it was definitely a kind of a roller coaster of a season i kind of um like cough fire in the middle in the middle part with um, a great race at Manhattan um, and then a, a really strong performance at the class meet. But um, yeah, then I kind of found myself in, in a rough patch with um, a little bit of an injury uh, going into the state meet. Um, it wasn't much of anything at the time. And, and I, it, it, it was a similar um, thing to what I was going through at the class meet. So I thought I would approach it the same way um, with the same mindset, but you know, I, I ended up not having it on that particular day. And, and then it per progressed to get a little worse, and we were like, let's look at the big picture here and uh, sit out the New England meet, and then we'll go forward, hopefully being able to race at regionals and nationals. And I was very fortunate to stay in shape as best as I could, still get 10th at regionals. And um, 
I ran the fastest time I've ever run on the, that Bowdoin Park course. Um, yeah, and with, yeah, taking like two weeks out of the season, not running, um, still cross training, but it, it, it's definitely not ideal. So um, I, I really think that um, the team helped me. They, they were being great teammates um, to me and motivating me every day um, because we, we all wanted to get to that big goal of uh, not only being at NXN, but performing well there. And I think we, we did that as a team. So, yeah. yeah, it was kind of the story of your life uh, during the cross country season. It seems like you've been in that situation a couple of times before, and it seems like you always always bounce back. Is it because you just feel like you have more to prove once once you get over that injury when you come back? Yeah, um, it's definitely uh, – staying healthy for me has definitely been uh, something – uh, somewhat of a chore for me. Like I feel like maybe I have to work a little bit harder than um, other people do at staying healthy. Um, uh, sorry, so I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, <laughs> good. He got, he got. He printed something. And um, so, but yeah, um, it's it's something that that happens to most runners and. Um, uh, and yeah, and I hope to like I've learned a lot about uh, dealing with injuries and coming back from them, and and I hope that it's 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 something I will take to to college. Um, so I hope to have a much healthier, um, consistent, complete uh, years in, in college. So yeah. So so both of you guys have been important members of the LaSalle teams throughout the four years. Um, guys, what would you consider out of all the? you know, the years that you've competed, what would you consider the highlight of your careers? Um, why don't we start with you, um, Max? Um, it's It's got to be going to NXN with the team. That was the best experience, uh, the best meet I've ever been to. Um, you know, we had a great time. Um, Nike put on, a, like, a great – it was a great show for us. Like, it was just amazing to see all those athletes. They're professional and at the, at the highest level of high school running. Um, all there uh, at the Nike campus. It was, it was a really cool experience, and that's definitely the, the, the peak for me. And, and for that to come in my last race as a senior, like, that's, that's how it should be, right? Um, so, yeah, uh, yeah, that's, that's my best. Yeah. I'm guessing a, a close number two might have been the outdoor state meet, running the 828 in that um, unbelievable 3K with, I think, six of you guys on the 840. Yeah, that Happy was number two. Yeah, I'd say that was um that was a day where like the stars aligned for me really like um like the season again hadn't been perfect. Um uh, I had some successes with um in, in the pen relays. We we had put a great D DMR team together. I, I ran a great twelve hundred leg there and and then I kinda um struggled with some allergies and but got back to racing fitness um by the class meet and then at Hendrick and I, I was gaining more momentum. I PR'd there. And so I knew I was ready to, to run fast. I didn't know how far to run that fast, but, um, but yeah, that was a, that was a crazy day. It's a moment I'll never forget crossing that line. Um, so crazy. Uh, all the thoughts that were going through my head. Um, that was that, yeah, that's a very, very close second. Yeah. And I'm not a professional photographer, but you made me look like one on that day <laughs> at your picture coming across that line. Um, Tyler, uh, how about you? What would you consider uh, the highlight of, of your of your career? Um, like Max said, um, obviously nationals was fun, but um, I don't know. Maybe just like going away with all the, on all the trips. Obviously, cross country. We went to Great American. We uh, got third there, so that was obviously that was the start of the season. So that's when we realized we had something, and um, so that was definitely one. I'd say second, maybe Yale. We um where we ran the U.S. number one for the DMR, that was super fun. That was just a fun race all around, and it was like the last race of the night. So um I'd say that was definitely a close second. Um, individually, I'd say I guess running my PR in the fifteen hundred four hundred two, I ran that at Hendy. So that was super. Um, I was super excited to run that because I knew um I was ready for states. So I'd say definitely individually, that's what my best was. How about this past winter getting second in the 1500 too? That seems like it would probably rank right up there. Yeah, uh, that's definitely up there. I knew um, going into that race, I just wanted to help the team out. 
I knew I had David and um, Darius in that race. So um, I was kind of nervous, but I just wanted to go and get as many points as I could. So to come away with second in that race definitely was – I was so excited. But uh, only losing to David, he's great. So, uh, yeah, I was excited about that too. Now I know Coach Myers and Coach uh, Skelly always have some uh, good workouts for you guys. What, what would you consider – what would be your, your favorite workout? And I know these things are kind of a love-hate thing. You know how important they are, but you also love them because you know how – how important they are. Uh, what would you consider um, your, your favorite workout? Tyler, I'm going to begin with you. Um, I guess for track season, more like not short distance, but like, I don't know, I kind of like the shorter workouts better. So I'd say probably 2 to 400 is like, then you repeat that like three or four times. That's probably my favorite. Just um, see how fast you can run the last 400 of every like rep. Uh, uh, reset actually. So that's probably my favorite. Just to see um, yeah, you know, how much speed you have and how fast you are for um, indoor and outdoor. Max, how about you? Uh, yeah, there's definitely a couple that come to mind. Um, I'd say for my favorite cross country workout would probably be um eight by one k. Um, it's got a like two minutes rest, I think. Um. I actually remember we did that workout outdoors last year. I think uh, this was probably a workout that really prepared me to do that 828. I I, I think I averaged like um, three flat or just under um, for all those. I felt really good that day. And um, another one we do outdoors, I, I did 10 by 800 uh, last year with 90 seconds rest. Um, I think I averaged 220 for that. Like yeah, th those those really. Um, I, I I guess I'm the opposite of Tyler. With um, I really like those strength, um, you know, VO two max like in endurance workout days. Um, those are just <clears throat> for me. That's more in my wheelhouse, I guess. So, yeah. So that, that I guess those those are my two t favorite. Now, being on a talented team like Osawa, where you have so many talented mm -hmm. runners, so many competitive runners, do you find like sometimes these workouts end up turning into races between each other? Does that happen often? I know when I was at Cumberland years ago, that's what it, any race or any run we did turned into a race. Uh, yeah, I think definitely, um, especially with like the workouts I was saying, the shorter distance ones, I think sometimes it does because we also have like the 800 guys in those ones. So I think um, we definitely, like we pick and choose. Sometimes we're like, all right, we have to make sure we're not racing this. So um, sometimes there's those, but then sometimes there's like coaches like, all right, yeah, just see what you have. So, um, yeah, I think sometimes we do find ourselves, but if we shouldn't be, coach always tells us and um, holds us back when we need to. Um, and the other thing I was going to ask, um, is there anything in particular you guys have to do before a race? I know, like I told everyone before, runners tend to be very superstitious among most athletes. Any particular stuff that you guys have to do before a race, any particular meal you have to eat before a race? Um, Tyler, how about you? Um, I don't know if there's any particular thing I do. Um, I know I, before every race, the night before, I always have chicken parm. Um, sometimes I know uh, cross country season, we were uh, shaving the legs before races. So that was kind of a thing that we did. Um, besides that, that's just about it. Does that actually help you run faster? Um, that's debatable, but uh, <laughs> we thought it did. So, um, yeah. My argument for that is I, I think it, it makes you – um, it like it, it definitely makes your legs look more defined, um, which makes you look faster. And I think that you, you would feel faster. Um, good point. You know, I just, I think the leg looks better, um, shaven, but yeah, we, we were, we were having fun with that. Um, during the cross country season. Um, yeah, for me, I guess, um, I kind of, it, it varies like season to season or whatever, like spikes I'm wearing, whatever, whatever's comfortable, like. I'll kind of find like a lucky pair, but not a lucky pair of socks, but just a, a pair of socks that I'll wear every race or sometimes it's no socks. Um, but yeah, I, I like to be consistent with that because um, I struggle with like blisters and, and whatnot. So yeah, that's kind of my thing. Um, guys, a random question. Um, if you could go anywhere in the world, all expense paid trip, where would you go? Tyler, uh, take this one. Yeah, man. What? As, as well, same time. We go next? Yeah, you go first. All right. If I go anywhere, Hawaii. No, no reason. Nope. 
You would stay in the U.S.? I hate you, Max. You said anywhere in the world. Max, let's see what you have. What do you have? <laughs> let, me th- let me think. Okay. Hmm. Um, all expenses paid. Maybe uh, Abu Dhabi. That's a pretty um, uh, rich country um they have a lot of wealth there um they like it's it's a pretty cool um landscape they have going there with all the skyscrapers um yeah i have um i'm like a an f1 fan i've I've been to a race before and that's where like the the final race is so maybe i would time it uh whoever's paying for this would fly me out then and um i'd be able to watch that race that that'd be kind of the best experience possible. So yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, how about um, favorite movie? If there's a movie uh, you 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 can never get sick of watching 150 times in a row, uh, what movie would it be? Uh, how about you, Max? Uh, for me, it's it's. <clears throat> I have to go with Step Brothers. Um, Will Ferrell and um, John C. O'Reilly. They do a great job um, acting. I think they. Um, it, it's got some mixed reviews from other people, but, um, I, I believe I could watch that any time of day, no matter where, when it's on, I could sit down and watch that movie and probably recite, um, if not half more than that, the, um, uh, of the lines with my brothers. Um, you know, we really like that movie. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about you, Tyler? Uh, I don't know. If, I'm not really a big TV guy. I don't know if there's a favorite movie. But um, yeah, I definitely agree with Max. I like several brothers. Um, and guys, um, how about some words of advice? Well, what's are actually? Let's start with this. What's what's been some words of advice or a quote, a memorable quote that's been given to you that kind of sticks with you right now, or has, has kind of stuck with you throughout the years? Um, Tyler, how about you? Um, I think one for me is uh, just don't take anything for granted. Um. To, like live in the moment because it all flies by. Um, I know it's hard to live by and it's cliche, but I think it's definitely true because especially now it just is all gone. And um, like if I could just go back, oh, that'd be great. So um, yeah, I definitely think just um, live in the moment, make uh, the most out of every opportunity that you have because you don't know when it could be taken. Good point. And how about you, Max? Yeah, um, one recently that I I read in a book um, because I'm so academically inclined. I read fun. Um, It it said um, uh, great competitors are not consistently great. The best competitors are not consistently great. They are great at being consistent. And I think what that really means is like um, you just got to show up every day. You don't have to be the best on the team uh and in practice every day you don't have to give your 100 percent all effort every day but you have to show up even when you don't want to do core weight room stretch you got to show up and do it and be consistent with it every day because that's what um you know that's what makes the best competitors i think absolutely um how about um what's some words of advice you guys could give to uh some of the younger kids some of those freshmen and sophomores that are just beginning um, what what's some words of advice you'd want to give them? Um, going off what I said earlier and kind of piggybacking off of Max, um, like I just said, um, just um, live in the moment. Uh, take every don't take anything for granted, and um, when you have opportunities, take them. Um, like Max said, don't skip out on anything because you don't want to do it. That's like core strides. You have to do those. So I definitely say just stick to those and. Um, the little things is what um, helps you in the long run. So I definitely say do the little things. That's what our coach always preaches. So, um, yeah, do the little things because those are what's going to help you the farthest. And, um, yeah. Max, how about you? Um, yeah, I'd say, like, for a young kid, like, just really focus on having fun with the sport and, and trying to find a passion and, and love for it because um, that's what drives – um, athletes to be great, um, having a passion like that. And I think that's really important in our sport, especially when, uh, it demands so much from your, your body and your mind, uh, every day. Um, you know, you have to, you have to love what you do. Um, and if you don't, and it's probably not the right thing for you to be doing. Um, but yeah, even just in life, just find something you love to do. Um, for me, that's running. 
Um, and that's, yeah, and, and that's, I think, why I can be so competitive and so uh, driven. Uh, it's because I just love the sport and everything about it. And, and yeah, I want to be the best I can be at it. So, yeah. um, any particular person or people that you want to give shout outs to? Mm, uh, definitely just my mom. She's been to, I think, almost every single one of my races. She supports me so much. And, um, Mother's Day is coming up, so yeah, definitely my mom for uh, pushing me and uh, giving me every opportunity that I've had so far. Matt, how about you? Yeah, um, yeah, parents definitely come to mind for that. Um, you know, they sacrifice so much for us, um, sending us to a school like LaSalle, um, like, yeah, just uh, making sure that we're, we're happy and we're, you know, in the right state of mind all the time and um, really making sure that um, we're just, like staying on top of our grades and 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 yeah everything like that and but yeah so I, I've received great guidance and um, and lots of knowledge from my parents and I'm thankful for that. Yeah. Shout out them. So uh, Max, you're going off to the University of North Carolina. Um, Tyler, where are you going again? Uh, University of North Carolina, Greensboro. Oh, y'all going there the same as Max? No, he's he's going to Chapel Hill. I'm going to Greensboro. Chapel Hill. All right. Um. So so guys, uh, why why down in North Carolina? Um. Max, how about we'll, we'll start with you. What made you decide to go there? Um. Yeah. I mean, simply put, uh, Coach Milt. Um. He's the best coach in the country, in my opinion. He um. He's trying to revamp that program and and make it into a national powerhouse. Um. And I believe that um, that he can do that. Uh, he did it with Stanford when he joined there like seven years ago, and I think he can do it again with UNC. And I, I'm just really, um, you know, grateful to be going there, and I'm excited, um, like, for the process of of going through a, a program turnaround because um, they aren't um, like a top of the NCAA right now. But um, there's been plenty of uh, moves been being made by him uh, with a great recruiting class that I'm a part of and lots of graduate transfers recently that we've seen. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just really excited to get down there and train with the team and uh, really shape the culture of the team around something that uh, we can be proud of. And that's something that Coach Milt um, talks to us a lot about. Um, yeah, so like we have uh, Zoom meetings with the whole team and Coach Milt every Monday morning. Um, just like they would have if um, if they were on campus right now, um, but he still likes it. It's like his State of the Union. He'll address us for the week, and um, yeah, it's definitely something we talk about a lot. Like, it, like, would you want your brother or sister to be on this team? Would you be proud of that? Um, and a lot of programs or teams maybe wouldn't be able to answer yes to that. Um, and so we want to make sure that it's somewhere that. Uh, success can happen and people can grow and and develop as athletes and as men um so yeah that's what i'm excited about uh for unc yeah and i just heard from one of my friends it looks like thomas Ratcliffe and alex osberg are heading yeah. down to the university of north carolina yeah that's really exciting very um, good runners yeah yeah we had a um a, like an emergency uh meeting last night he wanted to let us know that um, before we heard it from somewhere else. So that was that was really cool to see um, to see that happen. Uh, yeah, they've got eligibility um, in track uh, for I think indoors and outdoors for um, Osberg and um, I think Ratcliffe is still. I think they said he can compete until twenty twenty two. So yeah, he's he's definitely struggled with um, some injuries and so he's. It's good for us. I guess he's got a lot of eligibility left. Um, but yeah, so we're really looking forward to that. Those are great veterans to have on the team to to guide us young guys who, um, yeah, who, who really want to make this into a great team. Yeah. And I'm probably going to give away my age, but I actually ran with Thomas's father at Coleman High School. So he was actually a teammate. Wow. That's cool. um, how about you, Tyler? So uh, how far are you from uh, from Max? Um, I think we actually looked this up one day. I forget how far exactly. I think like 50, five, 50 minutes, five zero, yeah. 50 minutes. So, yeah, that would be cool to be near him. But um, 
As far as the team, um, the actual team, um, I liked a lot. Uh, I felt like I bonded with the um, runners. Um, even the coach, um, he's doing a really good job of making the transfer smooth from college, uh, high school to college. He's definitely doing like the most he can right now. Obviously, it's hard what we're going through. But um, yeah, he's definitely trying to help the most. And I just think when I went and visited, I just think um, visiting the team and uh, I feel like I fit in with a lot of them. So I think that's cool. So I think um, definitely the team and the coach is what um, I liked about the school. Well, guys, I definitely want to wish you some luck um, in the next chapter in your life, heading off to college and competing in college. Um, and again, I feel I feel bad for you guys that your indoor your outdoor season was was cut short. But again, you got that next chapter in your life where you're going to be able to compete. And who knows, you might still be able to compete this year with the outdoor nationals coming. Um, well, not being postponed quite yet. Um, but guys, again, I want to thank you for taking the time and and good luck. Thank you. Thank you for having us.